book of Galatians tonight, chapter 2. It's felt this on my heart. Amen. Chapter 2 and verse 16. Galatians chapter 2 and verse 16. The Apostle Paul writing, said, Knowing that a man is not justified by the works of the law, but by the faith of Jesus Christ. Even we have believed in Jesus Christ that we might be justified by the faith of Christ and not by the works of the law. For by the works of the law shall no flesh be justified. But if while we seek to be justified by Christ, we ourselves are found sinners. Is therefore Christ the minister of sin? God forbid. For if I will build again the things which I destroyed, I make myself a transgressor. For I through the law am dead to the law that I might live unto God. I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live. Yet not I, but Christ liveth in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God who loved me and gave Himself for me. God, we love You. We thank You for this Word tonight. Lord, that we've read, we ask, Lord, that You would anoint us. God, anoint every ear. God, give us ears to hear. God, just speak to our hearts tonight by Your Spirit. We give you the praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. I like the writings of the Apostle Paul as he began to stress how important grace is. Praise God. As he began to say that a man is not justified by the works of the law. Amen. He cannot be freed from guilt. He cannot be forgiven by the works of the law. But by the faith of Jesus Christ. Even we have believed in Jesus Christ that we may be justified by the faith of Jesus Christ. Amen. Justified. Amen. Thank God that we that word justified comes from justification. Yeah. Amen. Jesus, amen, forgives us, saves us, just as if we had have never done anything wrong. Right. Amen. Praise God. That's justification. Hallelujah. Amen. That's nothing, amen, that we have done, but we got to remember, amen, who has forgave us. Right. Praise the Lord. Amen. Uh, Paul was stressing here it's not by the works of the law because we cannot be justified by the law. Praise God. The letter killeth, Paul said, but the Spirit bringeth life. Tonight that it's the Spirit of God, it's the Holy Ghost tonight that brings life to us. Praise the Lord. But he said we believed on Jesus Christ that we might be justified in the faith, not by the works of the law, for no flesh can be justified by the law. Amen. Thank God that Jesus came and, amen, justified us. Amen. Caused us to be forgiven. Can you say praise the Lord? I want to tell you it is about Jesus Christ tonight and the work, the finished work that He done that we could be justified. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Paul said if we seek to be justified by Christ, we are also found sinners. Hallelujah. Amen. And he said, but if therefore... Christ, Christ, the minister of sin, he said, God forbid. No, he, he's not uh, the one, uh, amen, uh, is the minister of sin. We know he's the deliverer from sin. 
We know he's the justifier. Amen. He's the one that takes care of the sin problem. Praise God. Amen. And notice Paul said, if I build again the things which I destroyed, I make myself a transgressor. Hallelujah. I want you to know tonight, if the Lord's took care of our sin and we know that He has and will, yes. amen, we need to let God take care of that by His grace. Because we cannot do it within ourselves. We don't have the power. We don't have the capability. But we know an almighty God, yeah. uh, hallelujah, that came from the throne, amen, uh, of, of heaven uh, and gave his life for us uh, that we can sit here tonight and say, yes, I have been forgiven. Yes, I have been redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. Yes, uh, I have been justified. Justification is mine. Jesus Christ forgave me when no one else could have forgave me. Jesus Christ done a miracle in my life when a miracle is impossible. Amen. But only through God all things become possible. Can you say praise the Lord? Hallelujah. Amen. He said, I, through the law, am dead to the law that I might live unto God. Paul said, we can't live. We're not saved by the law. Amen. Hallelujah. If we had been saved by the law, then Jesus Christ would not have had to come. Paul said that, amen, the law was our schoolmaster to bring us to Christ. Praise God. The law, amen, was imperfect. There was nothing good about it. Hallelujah. But I'm glad tonight that Jesus came. Yes. Hallelujah. And fulfilled the law. Amen. He fulfilled the law. Praise God. Grace and truth came by Jesus Christ. Free. That's what gets to the core of the sin problem and causes a man, a man to come forward and acknowledge his sin and get ready to confess his sin and causes a man to find him an altar somewhere and cause him to repent of his sin. And I'm talking about true repentance tonight. I'm not talking about coming and finding a place to pray and not being sincere in our heart. But I'm talking about about godly sorrow will work repentance and cause a man to find an altar somewhere and pour his heart out to God. He'll say, God, I am a sinner. God, I need your help tonight. Hallelujah. That's what we're talking about tonight. It's not the law that saves us, but it's the grace of the Almighty God that'll cause a man to acknowledge, yes, I'm a sinner. Yes, I've got to come through the blood of Jesus Christ. Yes, I've got to be born again of the water and of the Spirit. Hallelujah. That's the grace of the Almighty God that causes us to know, amen, that I've got to have a Savior. That I've got to have Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. It's the grace of Jesus Christ that we'll follow the Lord in burial. Hallelujah. How many knows when somebody dies, the normal thing is we bury them. Except for the few that wants to be cremated. But for the most people, they want to be buried somewhere. Praise God. Well, when our old, when we repent and we get our old sin nature, Amen. When we crucify Him, when we lay Him down, 
when he's dying, praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. We want to be buried with Jesus Christ, don't we? Hallelujah. In the grave of water baptism. To arise and walk in the newness of life. Hallelujah. And then we uh, are filled with the baptism of the Holy yeah. Ghost. Uh, I want you to know tonight this is what Paul is talking about. Uh, he said, I am crucified with Christ. Uh, he said, not I, amen, but Christ liveth in me. Has anybody got Jesus tonight living inside of your life? Uh, hallelujah. It's not you, it's Jesus living yeah. in you. Hallelujah. He said, I'm crucified yes. with Christ. Yes. I want to tell you, if you believe the gospel, if you believe in Jesus Christ, did you know you are identifying with Him? Yeah. Right. That you are crucified with Him? Right. You know why you're crucified with Him? Because when He was hanging on the cross between two thieves, Amen. When they beat him with a cat of nine tails, when they beat him, made him drink vinegar, when they beat him and mocked and crucified him, Amen. He was there, Amen, to do the will of the of the one God that sent him. Praise God. He was there being crucified for you. And when we come to Jesus Christ through grace and we say, God, I need you. Amen. I want to be saved. I don't want to be a sinner anymore. I want to be a saint of God. I want you to know there's identification. That spiritual identification becomes in effect. And the old man is null and void. Jesus Christ has made a new creature creature out of you. Yeah. Old things are passed away. Yeah. Behold, all things have become new. Yeah. Thank God tonight. That's what the power of Jesus Christ can do when he gets into our heart and life. I want you to know he'll change us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're not the old person we used to be. Because we're crucified with Christ. Yes, yes, yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Do we get it tonight? Hallelujah. When we identify with Jesus, we're crucified with Him. Christ. He hung on the cross. Amen. And gave His life for us. Amen. We're crucified. When we accept Him, we're crucified with Him. Right, right. Yes, like what the Apostle said, nevertheless, I live. I live. I live. Somebody say, I live tonight. Praise God. It's not I, but it's Christ living in me. The hope of glory. I believe the Apostle said, Amen, it's the hope of glory. Praise God. Thank God for the things that we see. And thank God for the things that we don't see. Amen. Because we're walking by faith tonight. Hallelujah. I want you to know tonight. Things are not always as they seem. We just need to take the word of God and believe what it says. Let's not believe what some man wrote in a book. Let's not believe what some professor says. Let's not believe what some other theologian has come up with I want to tell you tonight we've got what we need in this book tonight we don't need anything else come on somebody I don't need some book from some writer that doesn't have an idea how to be born again I don't need to read a book that doesn't know Jesus Christ to try to tell me how to keep my affairs in line. All I need is Jesus. I need to hear His Word tonight. I ain't got to believe on Him who He has been sent. Can you say praise the Lord? Hallelujah. We need to have an encounter with Jesus Christ in such a way that it will change our life forever. Yeah. Hallelujah. Right. I tell you what, we're living in an hour 
where people really need to let God yes. change them. Come on, that's right. Oh, how is God? Yes. Come on, somebody needs to get a hold of the Lord tonight. Praise God. Somebody needs to get a hold of the Lord tonight. Praise God and say, God, I want to be crucified with you. Hallelujah. I want to be crucified with you. Nevertheless, I live. Yet not I, but it's Christ that liveth in me. Praise God. We need to realize tonight it's Christ living in us. Hallelujah. Well, praise the Lord. Amen. When I wake up every morning, it's not I, but it's Christ living in me. Praise God. When I'm going through a tribulation, when I'm facing a trial, amen, I'm going through a valley. Praise God. I know tonight Jesus is still on the mountaintop. He's in the valley with me. He's everywhere I go. Hallelujah. I'm still crucified with Christ. It's nevertheless I live. It's not I, but Christ is living in me. Somebody needs to realize tonight it doesn't matter what we're going through. It doesn't matter what we're facing. Christ is still living inside of me. Hallelujah. Yes, I'm going to go through some things in this life, but Christ is living inside of me. Praise God. Hell comes against us. But thank God we still got the victory. Why? Because the victor is living on the inside of us tonight. His name is Jesus. Hallelujah. Paul said, the life which I live now. He said, the life that I'm living right now in the flesh. He said, I live by the faith of the Son of God. Hallelujah. That's the only way I live. Who loved me and gave himself for me. That's right. Thank you, Jesus. We live by the faith of the Son of God. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. This fleshly life that I'm living and you're living, we're going to live it by the faith of Jesus Christ. Praise God. Come on, as long as we're in the flesh, we're going to have problems. Come on. Praise God. But thank God we may be living in the flesh, but we're not of the flesh. Oh, now. Apostle Paul said, yeah, although we live in the world, we're not of the world. We've been called out from the world. We've been called out to be a separated people. We've been called out to be a peculiar people for the name of the Lord. Though we're still living in the flesh, we don't identify with the flesh anymore. Why? Because Christ is living inside of us. The hope of glory is inside of us. Thank God, though I'm in the flesh, I know I'm living by the faith of the Son of God yes. who loved me and gave himself for me. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank God for the identification Jesus. of Jesus thank Christ. You. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I tell you, we're, we're a privileged people to be able to sit in the house of the Lord tonight or walk out of this place tonight and say, thank God I've been born again. Thank God I know what it is. Amen. To have a touch of God. I know what it is. I'm born again of the water and of the Spirit. Praise God we can leave this place tonight satisfied in our soul. Why? Because Christ lives in us. We're a blessed people. Hallelujah. We're so blessed tonight. When so many of our denominal friends around us, so many of our denominal churches around us will go in empty and leave empty. 
Walk in the church a sinner and leave the sinner. Praise God. No change. Amen. There's no change. I want to tell you what a privilege it is to be able to go into a Pentecostal church. Yeah. Hallelujah. And feel the move of the Holy Ghost. Uh, to feel the tug of conviction. Hallelujah. That will draw a sinner off, the, off of his pew. Uh, and cause him to find an altar somewhere. Uh, amen. And repent of his sin. Uh, I want to tell you the Holy Ghost tonight uh, is still trying to bring conviction on the hearts of the sinner. The Holy Ghost is still trying to convict uh, even the hearts of the believer tonight. Yeah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, hallelujah. Jesus, Jesus. Lord. We're privileged tonight to know the Lord the way yes, we do. Yes, yes, hallelujah. We take it for granted. That's right. We can sit back and say, yeah, I'm apostolic. Yes, I'm Pentecostal. And be proud of it. And I think we ought to be. Right. We better ever be so thankful. Because I want to tell you tonight, thank God for this marvelous truth. Thank God, Brother Bobby. Hallelujah that we found it. Praise God that Jesus Christ Amen. By His grace has saved us and caused us, uh, hallelujah, to be identified with Him. We are crucified with Christ tonight because we believe uh, in His death. We believe uh, in His burial. We believe in His resurrection when He come back uh, on the third day just like He promised. Uh, praise God because of these things. Uh, we are crucified with Jesus Christ uh, and there is a spiritual identification. Thank God tonight uh, we can't say we are seated together in heavenly places uh, by Christ Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank the Lord. Hallelujah. It's not I, but it's Christ. That's what we need to realize here tonight. It's not I, but it's Christ. I tell you, we need to exalt Him tonight. We need to exalt Him above all other. Hey, there's only one God with a capital G. And His name is Jesus Christ. But I want to tell you, there's little gods out here that people worship, that people idolize. But I want to tell you, we as God's people, we need to worship and idolize the one true God tonight. Hallelujah, who has saved us, who has redeemed us, who's called us by His name. Thank God we're not walking in darkness anymore. But He's called us into this marvelous light. And it's not us, but it's Christ that's living in us. It's Christ that's living in us. It's Christ that's living in us. It's no longer me. I'm no longer myself. I may be living in the flesh, but it's Jesus Christ living in me. Can you say praise the Lord? Well, hallelujah. That old excite us just a little bit. It's not me, but it's him. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, in my flesh, I've sinned. In my flesh, I've committed transgression. In my flesh, yes, we've done a lot of bad things. In my flesh, Yes, we made mistakes, but thank God He came to justify us. It's not us living, it's Christ living in us. Well, I gotta take a break and dance. Hallelujah. But we're living in the flesh, we're not out the flesh. Jesus. Oh, glory, glory. It's 
Christ living in us. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Jesus. Yes, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, Lord, it's not me, it's you. You know what? We need to get over ourselves tonight. That's right. Uh -huh. We all just need to get over ourselves tonight. Yeah, and say it's not me. Well, I'm going to run around with you, brother. It's not me. Praise God, it's not I. But it's Christ living in me. Praise the Lord. And some people so full of their self. Uh-huh. Hallelujah. You need to be full of Christ, and that's what we need to be full of. That's right. Oh God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'd be fooling around and kidding with my daddy. He'd tell me a lot of times, he said, son, you're full of baloney. Praise God. Hallelujah. There's a lot of people full of baloney. And there's a lot of phony baloney going around, around in the houses of God. Hallelujah. Come on, we can't stand for no more phony baloney. Why stand for something uh, that's counterfeit? Uh, why stand for something uh, that's imitation? Uh, when we can have the real, genuine Spirit of the Lord, can you say it? There's just some imitations. They just say what they're all cut out to be. There's a lot of this no-name brand stuff. Ain't no good. Hello, somebody. Not everything, but there's a lot of this stuff just because it's cheaper. It don't taste as good. I tell my wife she's making Rotel. Now don't buy that best choice cheese. Don't buy that other kind of old Aldi's brand cheese or whatever. Praise God. I want the Velveeta cheese. I want that creamy, good tasting cheese. Hallelujah. Come on, there's some things tonight. Amen. I want the real thing. Hallelujah. There's a lot of this cheese that's imitation. It's not really dairy products. There's a lot of thing tonight that's imitation. Praise God. I want the real thing tonight. I want the real deal. Can you say that? Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Uh, Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As I heard it said, we've kind of grown lazy in the latter years. Praise God. A lot of people want instant everything. There's some things that's not going to come instantly. Praise God. I want to tell you, real peeled potatoes that's boiled and mashed Amen. Those make the best mashed potatoes. Hallelujah. These potato flakes ain't the real thing. Come on. Praise God. Hallelujah. They may work for a quick, uh, quick meal, but I want to tell you, I really like the real potatoes. Amen. I don't like fake potatoes. I don't care for imitations of certain things. Yeah. Praise God. The potatoes will taste better if we'll take time to peel them. If we'll take time to boil them. If we'll put the butter and the milk or the cream. Amen. It'll taste better. Amen. Why? Because it's a real thing. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. My wife, one of her hands is 
She's got some carpal problem, tunnel problems, so if you want the real potatoes, you're going to have to peel them. That's what she tells me. And I do it. Why? Because I like the real thing. Hallelujah. Amen? So I'll peel the potatoes because I'd rather have the real thing tonight. Hallelujah. You know, there's a lot of things. Amen. That when we comes to God, it takes time. Come on. A lot of people drink instant coffee because they don't have to perk it. It's easy. Hallelujah. But I don't want instant coffee either. No, sir. Hallelujah. I want the real coffee. Yeah. Come on, somebody. I don't want instant tea either. I want my tea boiled. Praise God. I want it. I want it. To, I want everything to be right. Why not? Because we can have the real thing. When it comes to living for God, when it comes to serving God, when it comes to the things that we believe, why try to take a shortcut? Why try to find a loophole? Amen. When the road is straight and narrow. Hallelujah. Amen. And we can walk that way tonight. Why take a shortcut? When Jesus Christ said, I've done going before you. I've done paved the way. Why don't you just follow? Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, we have some music tonight. Praise God. Hallelujah. Well, amen. It's not I. It's not I. Amen. Paul said, crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live. It's not I. It's Christ living in yes. yes. Tonight, if you leave with anything, leave with that. It's not I, but it's Christ living in me. I want you to walk out of this place knowing that. Walk out of this place with your head up high. Take it out of the gutter and say it's not I, but it's Jesus living in me. I can hold my head up. I can be proud of who I know and I believe in. Praise God. I can. Hallelujah. It's not me, but it's Him. Hey, let's get the spotlight off of us tonight. And let's put the spotlight on Jesus. Because once we do that, praise God, He's going to shine in our life. Did you hear me? Yes. He's going to shine in our lives hallelujah, hallelujah, when we hallelujah. put the spotlight on Him. Glory to your name. That's where we can say Christ lives in me. Hallelujah. hallelujah. Come on, can we worship Him for a few minutes here tonight? Praise God. Could we thank Him tonight?